Hey guys, I removed the first web page overlay tutorial that I put up here last week. Remember, it was the very first page darkening lesson that we covered. So if you'll bear with me for just a quick moment, I'd like to present that particular lesson over to show both the opacity setting method using JavaScript and the transparent PNG image method in the same lesson rather than making two separate lessons to demonstrate the logic. Being as our script will be virtually identical between the two lessons, it makes sense to me to merge the lessons together into one. Now since we have beat this topic into the ground and discussed a lot of code in depth already about it, I'll simply swap out my semi-transparent PNG file for a CSS black background, and then we'll use JavaScript to set the opacity for the overlay div to any setting that we require. Now this complete script will be available at developphp.com. First, let's take a look at it. Here it is running in Google Chrome. Apply overlay. Close the overlay. Okay, so you saw it in Chrome. Let's try it in Firefox. And it works exactly the same, so that's good there. And let's try it now in Internet Explorer. That way you guys can see it working in the all of the popular browsers. Press allow block content. And then apply overlay. Everything works great. Okay, so now you've clearly seen it working with the opaque dark.png semi-transparent file. Now all we have to do to use the opacity setting in JavaScript is change this to just say background color black. Now once you have that set up, you don't have to put anything else into this CSS. All you have to do is go down into the JavaScript now and put in one line here. Let's put it right there. We'll say overlay. So we'll grab that uh, reference for the overlay div. Overlay.style.opacity is equal to, let's make it 0.7. And the way the values work for opacity is it goes from 0 to 1. So if you have an opacity of 0.5, that means you're at 50% transparency. If I'm at 0.7, that means I'm at 70% transparency okay so now let's render this in the browser and you can see we're using just a black background for the overlay div and we're setting its opacity down in the JavaScript so first let's try it in Chrome and it works nice we can also change that number which is the 7 to something darker like a 9 if you want and you can see how the page is much darker now so you have a little bit more play with the adjustments and the settings when you're using the opacity setting rather than the transparent PNG file because that's just a static file. All right, so let's put this at 0.8 because I think it'll look the best at 0.8. File, preview and browser. Let's try it in Firefox. Okay, so that opacity method works cool in Firefox there. The same line that works for Chrome. Now let's see if this same line of code works exactly the same in Internet Explorer as it does in the other browsers. Allow block content. So everything seems to work universally the same and everything is commented down here in the HTML so you can't go wrong. And we really, we discussed the, uh, the toggle functionality for darkening the page like five times now in, in the four different tutorials we've done. Okay, so that was it. We won't cover any more uh, material on page darkening or overlays and things like that. I'm done. I've said everything that I want to say about it. And so that's it. We did theater mode. We did overlay. We did the YouTube lights out for Earth Day thing. We light switch and all that. We did a whole bunch of crap. It was a good little run.